Who's ready for another unboxing video? Okay, this is my five and a half gallon tank that sits on my desk. It's been sitting there for a while. It used to be themed around India, but now it's themed around the country of Colombia. So all the fish, the plants, the invertebrates are gonna be from the country of Colombia, because you know, that's how I roll. And this is a box of snails a box of olive nerite snails to be precise, that was sent to me by one of my subscribers, JLB Aquatic Life. And I'm gonna open this up now and get them out of here. This just arrived, that came all the way from Florida. And uh, you know, it's kind of cold in parts of the country and I wanna make sure that these things survive. So uh, I got my knife, I got my box. I will try not to cut myself. <laughs> Let's get this open. Turn it this way so you can see what's going on. Okay, let's see how they're packed here. That looks pretty good. It's pretty good to me. Let's move that out of the way. Oh, look at this. We got nice thermal packing here. Okay, so put that down there, and what do we do with the box? Throw it across the room. Whoop, hope we didn't scare the cat. All right, so I've got instructions to read on how to acclimate this, I'm assuming. So, let's see what it says. Three hours later. No, it did not take three hours to read the instructions. Okay, I've read the instructions, and the first thing it says is that I need a bowl. I have to remove the packaging, take the paper towel out that has the snails in it, and put it into a bowl. But, uh, my wife would kill me if I take a bowl out of the kitchen and use it for this, so I have a plastic container instead. So, I will put them in that. Let's open this up. This is really nice packaging here. Okay, I may, I'm probably gonna keep this packaging, this is nice. I can ship something to somebody else with this. Now, I have never actually gotten live livestock of any kind through the mail. I've sent some. I've, I, I actually sold a bunch of my uh, Malaysian trumpet snails on eBay before, but I have never actually received anything in the mail here. So this is my, my, my first foray into that sort of thing. The next thing would be to order fish online. So, all right. Move this out of the way for a moment. All right. Oh, I gotta cut one more spot here. How many of you actually have received fish or invertebrates online? Or have sold any or sent any? Oh, look at that, see? That is nice packaging, look at that. It's like uh, I got some miso soup or something here. Okay, now, open this up. Well, I think some are still alive, because look at that, they're actually suctioned to the top of the, uh, the lid there, so I'm very happy about that. Now, this is kind of wet, so I'm gonna wipe this off with my, my aquarium rag. I hope you have an aquarium rag or towel or something that's dedicated just to the fish tanks so that it doesn't get mixed in with everything else or that, you know, someone gets upset that you use their favorite towel. So, all right, so I'm gonna take this out of there this down on top of this special aquarium rag. Okay. Now I've got to take the lid off of this. Well, I'd say they survived. Look, they've crawled out of the, uh, the paper towel. Amazing. So, you know, I don't even know if I need this. I'm just going to let them uh, sort of adjust to the room temperature, because it says in the instructions that I need to uh, allow five minutes to adapt to room temperature. So uh, let's zoom ahead, five minutes. Okay, I've waited the required five minutes here, so now it says that I need to uh, remove them from the paper towel. Let's see if there's any left in the paper towel here. Okay, anybody? There is nobody inside the paper towel. 
it is empty. Okay, <laughs> we'll throw that away. They have removed themselves from that. So let's see, how many do we have here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We've got a dozen of them here. So now I've got to get them all into the bottom of this thing and then cover them with some water. But um, Okay, so it says in order to do that, to get them off another surface, you don't want to just pluck them off of there because that's uh, that hurts them, that's cruel and mean. So you want to slide them and then they will let go. They are on here tight. That's good, that's healthy, that means they're alive. So we're going to slide this boy off here. There we go. And we place them down inside the cup. And this one too. Oh, that one doesn't, didn't want to slide. <laughs> okay, put that one in. And let's see. Slide this one. That one came off easily. All right. and this one's already trying to get off of here. So we'll slide him around. There we go. And I suppose that means I should slide the ones off of the, uh, the inside of this thing well, so let me slide that a little, put them down on the bottom, facing up. Okay. Oops, some of them are upside down here. Let's get them all right side up. All right, so now the next step is to add some water from the tank. Okay, lid's been pulled back so I can get at the water, and I have this little glass from Kansas City, from when I was in Kansas City, my wife and I visiting relatives in Kansas City. And um, I don't drink, so I don't use it for that, but I keep it on my desk so that I can do drip acclimation with it. I don't use just like a, a little uh, you know, tube or something like that, uh, airline tube or something to drip it. I actually do it manually, it's just a little easier. So let's uh, get a scoop of water in here. And we wanna pour that into here just to get enough that will cover the snails just a little bit. And we'll just pour in enough to, uh, just to cover them. All right, and the instructions now say, allow five to 10 minutes and add enough water to make about an inch deep. Okay, see you in a moment. All right, 10 minutes is up. So now it's time to put a little more water in there. Another scoop and we'll pour some water in until we get about an inch deep of the tank water. There we go. And now guess what? We wait some more. This time I'll let you watch the snails. Okay, and now comes the fun part. I get to take them out of here and put them into there and make sure that they're all upright. Because the problem is, these kind of snails, they have very small feet. And if they're over on their back, they can't right themselves. They can't turn themselves over again. And so they'll die if, <laughs> if they're not able to move around and eat. So I have to be very careful. Ah, there you can see my black racer near right. There he is, Racer X. How you doing? Don't get comfortable, buddy. You're moving out of there. Now I'm gonna move this lid back a little bit more so I can get my hand in. And I think I'll just line them up on top of the log there. So, let's see. I'll be very careful because I want to slide them off and then put them into this tank. There we go. All right. First transport is away. I'm actually pretty happy with how the uh, escape turned out. It was a, kind of an impromptu thing. Wipe that down. It was an impromptu thing. Let's see another video about why I had to do that. Why I had to rescape it. I just used found items, the stuff I had on hand. All the rocks and wood and everything were stuff that I already had. I'm not certain if these get quite as big as the uh, black racers or the uh, 
zebras or the tigers or any of the other nerites. I know they're definitely larger than the horned nerites, which are very small, stay very small, but they also eat algae at an amazing, impressive rate. Got seven of them in. These guys that are still in the container do not want to let go. very happy to say that these all arrived alive, safe and sound. That is wonderful. I'm very happy about that. Okay. Look at that. One's already crawling down the side there. Okay, last one won't come out of the container. There we go. It's a fighter. Okay. Get right over here. There we go. Ta-da! Clean this up. All right, well, there you have it. Look at that. 12 olive nerites, all happy, healthy, moving around, ready to eat that algae. Eat that algae, you little monsters. Oh, and if you notice, look down there, right down at the bottom, there's my new little catfish right there, my little skunk Cory, Corydorus arcuatus. He's talking pig Latin, I don't know what he's saying. Okay, big huge shout out and thank you to JLB Aquatic Life. Justin, thank you so much for working so hard to make sure that these snails got here safe and sound. They are awesome, you are awesome. Please check him out. You can find him on eBay, JLB Aquatic Life. I absolutely recommend him. I highly endorse him. This is great. He didn't pay me for this. I, I'm just so pleased with this. So check it out. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, Racer X. You got some buddies now. You got an army. You got an army to command. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, blessings to you. They really do look like little olives. Look at that.